Hey guys, it's Eric Fisher here with FisherDrumming.com and today I have another free lesson for you from my Linear Groove Pack available on my website. So today we're going to be breaking down a linear rock groove on the toms. So this is really fun to play. Not only is it fun to play, but it sounds bad. And when I say bad, I mean the good bad, not the bad bad. So we'll get right into it. Okay, so the tom groove is one measure long. We're going to be counting 16th notes. And remember, it's linear, so that means no two limbs are playing at the same time. The whole string of notes is kick, left, right, kick, right, left, right, left, right, kick, kick, right, left, kick, right, left. So we're going to take a look at the first nine notes, and that's going to be up to the three. So it would be one E and a two E and a three. And then we'll look at the second part after that. So. Play along with me. We're going to start nice and slow so you can get familiar with moving your hands around the set. Okay, so one of the things that you want to make sure you're doing is adding a nice accent on beat two when you come across with the right hand on the snare. So we have one E and uh, two. That note you want to smack down. It's going to be on the two and the four, like a normal rock beat. We're accenting on that snare. Okay, cool. So now let's take a look at the second part, which is the last seven notes, and that's going to be kick kick right left kick right left remember we're going to start off nice and slow play along with me and also accent on beat four with the snare drum All right, guys, so once you get comfortable with both those parts, let's play the whole measure together. So we're going to start nice and slow once again and play along right here.
So one of the things I want to recommend for you to do is count with your hi-hat. Count the quarter notes. It adds a nice flavor to the overall groove and it really works on your independence. I've been doing it throughout the lesson. I don't know if you have, but if you haven't, add it in. It might be tricky at first, but it's really going to make a nice difference in your overall playing and especially to this groove. The way it sounds, it's rocking. So try it with me again nice and slow right here. Okay guys, so you've got your main course going on. You got a nice steak in front of you. It's looking good. It's smelling nice. But if you want to add some extra flavors and spices to the mix, I have a couple suggestions. One of the things is you play the first measure the way we've been going over it. When the second measure rolls around, you have the last two notes of the measure, 4E and a. Uh, we have that playing on the snare right now. You can alternate between playing on the snare and playing on the toms each measure. So the second measure, bring those last two notes up on the high tom and continue the rest of the groove the way we've been going over it. That just keeps it from sounding repetitive. It gives a nice little mix in there. So that's suggestion number one. Number two is open up your hi-hat on the very last note of the sequence. So we have 4E and a. Uh, that last 16th note, open up the hi-hat. It's also a little nice little spice accent that'll give a little better taste of the overall groove. So add those two things, put your own twist on it. These are just two suggestions of mine, and I'll give you an example of them right here. Alright cool guys, so I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I hope it was fun and informative for you. If you enjoyed this, please check out my website at fisherdrumming.com. I have a whole lesson pack available on there, particularly on linear patterns. And I have a lot of others as well. It's all to help your drumming. It's all to answer your questions. And it's all to teach everything that I've learned. So please keep watching, subscribe, like, share this. Anything helps. So thanks so much guys. I'm honored to help you in your drumming success.